the art of Navy, as, uh, as presented before us here today, uh, really is an amazing piece of artwork, and uh, I thank and congratulate uh, the fine artist, uh, Ralph Bell, for the work that he's done. And I must admit, when the, uh, the concept of commissioning this artwork was first put to me by my team, I wasn't immediately convinced. Uh, I have a piece of artwork hanging in my office, which is HMAS Sydney, and she leads the first fleet uh, on the convoy uh, to Gallipoli. Obviously a very famous uh, historical piece of artwork, which captures the, the, uh, the Navy of uh, 1914 perfectly. Um, and so then as I reflected on where the Navy is today in 2019, uh, it became very obvious very quickly that contemporary art is the art that I want reflecting our Navy. And I'm absolutely delighted with the finished product that uh, Ralph and the team have produced. And it does absolutely reflect the contemporary Navy of 2019. So much so that uh, as we've had international guests uh, visit for Sea Power 2019 uh, and, uh, and the exhibition, I've had a book commission which encapsulates all this artwork, which I've given to all of our international guests. And without, without fail, each and every one of them is completely in awe and inspired by this magnificent artwork because they understand the reflection of what it means, the reflection of the Navy in the nation in a contemporary way. And so as I was thinking this morning about uh, Tiger 75 displayed fantastically behind me, uh, I thought that too was a contemporary reflection of our Navy. Those of you that have visited uh, the museum previously would remember the Wessex that was hanging uh, proudly uh, from the roof in here. It too was a reflection of our Navy back in the 70s and 80s. And uh, I remember very proudly that uh, you know, I flew in the, 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 the Wessex when, uh, when I was a midshipman. But I don't know anybody currently serving in our Navy that flew in that particular aircraft. Vince B. D. Pietro, who is well known to many of you, would proudly come in and talk about that being his aircraft. Uh, but I think now having a Seahawk uh, in this place, which started its operational flying career about the same time that this museum was open, is a contemporary reflection of our Navy. And uh, as I look amongst the, the men and women gathered here today, uh, I can see a number of you who have worked in, flown in, broken, fixed, or in some way been associated with Tiger 75. And, uh, Unlike the Wessex that used to hang here, which nobody had flown in, I know that at least uh, one of our naval aviators, uh, Todd Gwynn, actually flew this air aircraft. And uh, I'm sure that Todd could tell us many stories about the transition from the Seahawk Bravo to the Romeo, which is now in service <coughs> with our Navy. So I'm absolutely delighted that we've got this aircraft, which connects uh, the history of this place, the history of Navy aviation, to the contemporary Navy. And I'd like to thank and again congratulate the Australian National Maritime Museum on the exhibitions that they have here, but more importantly, the connection that they have with our Navy and the support that they give us every day. We, uh, we often reflect in the Navy that we do a, a, uh, an interesting, sometimes difficult job, which is a very difficult story to tell because we sail out through Sydney heads, turn left or right, and our story is then out of sight, out of mind. This place captures our story every day. And I thank you, and I will continue to look for opportunities to tell our story and showcase the work that the men and women of our Navy do. So on behalf of the Navy, uh, I'd like to thank Ralph uh, for his inspirational artwork. And I'd like to thank Tanya and the team here at the National Maritime Museum for what you do for us, and what you do for our country in celebrating and commemorating what our Navy has done and we will continue to do it in the future. Thank you all.